Good evening, and today we have um, the first experiment of the system software and compiler. The first experiment, as you can see, is token separation. So, first of all, for me to explain token separation, token separation is the first step, okay, in, in the compiler process, okay, lexical, it's called lexical analysis. So, basically, the tokens is um, the tokens are, are separated, like the keywords are identified, okay. And the the tokens are separated as you can see there. Let's go. This is is, is basi basically token can be defined as a sequence of characters with collective meanings. The various token can be identifier, keywords, operators, punctuation, constants. Okay, so what we have is write a program. There are two questions, but we opt for the second one. What we have is write a program to count the tokens in a given source program. Okay, so I I have my um input sample input is here this is my sample input okay now my program is goes as such okay so basically first of all you import all the java libraries okay you can see we imported file program okay which in, in enables us to give a file input we import um file not found exception okay array list hash map we are going to use hash map for this list and scanner okay this kind is for input now we created a public class of lexical analysis then we have a, a string array of keywords okay and these are the various keywords tokens um, in java identifiers and um, keywords and all that okay then we defined a hash map okay the hash map is known as keyword table okay then uh, we'll define two hash maps actually keyword table and, and other words okay and then this kind of table is equal to null. This is for input. Keyboard input is equal to null. Line number is equal to zero. Okay, so this try exception is to check if um, there is actually any file. Okay, and um, what else then? The keyword table is equal to. So for this now we we put the key this keyword strings into the hash table. Okay, and then we using the while loop we check whether and um, using the while loop and the sep this various separators okay separators like um open parenthesis close parenthesis and all that we check whether they make sense okay so now we and this in the second um we have a we have a function known as print list this is for printing all the tokens okay so for object m in x okay print object m okay Okay, so this print is a list, and then we have uh, in our main function, we can see new lexical analysis. So it calls the first class. Okay, it creates a new object for the first class, and then the constructor. You can, as you can see the constructor, and the um, what do you call it? The parameter for the constructor is one dot text. One dot text is our notes. Okay, one dot text is our is our input file. So it gives C because it's saved in the C drive. One dot x. So I run this program. Okay, you can see. So it counts, it counts and um, the tokens. So how many tokens do we have here? Basically, have one token int. Okay, which is identifiable. Okay, one known token. So you can see int is equal to one. Then other words is is three. Okay, that's C, A, and B. Okay, C is equal to A plus B. That's okay so you can see that is successful so that is the first experiment separation of tokens thank you for listening